Hello and welcome to my review of the AUX Shock Jump Dragster. This model will set you back £30, much like all of the other buggies in the range. What we'll do is we'll have a look at all the details and things, then we will do a load of size comparisons and finally uh, go through all the rules. Now, in my opinion, this is probably like the weakest uh, of all the buggies. Um, it's just my personal preference though. Um, I think it looks like a, a little race car and yeah, I guess it is a race car with the big spoiler at the back. But you've got to understand that this model um, and one of the others, uh, I think one of the, I think it was a Snazwagon, came out um, with a sort of racing game um, for uh, for Orcs, it was just those two models and a load of bikes and a couple of other things. Um, so they came out uh, with just in just that set, and then eventually Games Workshop. It took ages for them to release um, uh, the two models uh, individually in in their individual kits. In my opinion, uh, they really, really should have released them uh, individually at that time, much like with the Gaskell model and uh, Jane Czar and things like that. Anyway, let's have a look at this model and the detail. It's a very spiky one, guys. I mean, the, the sides of the tires uh, are very, very spiky. You could really hurt your, your fingers on, on there and look at all the detail now. It's got one of these amazing looking weapons. You've got some ammunition there uh, that the Grot's holding and uh, he's just feeding the ammunition in. Um, a fantastic weapon. We'll go through that, uh, the rules, uh, a little bit later on. It's got these uh, buzz saws right on the front I mean this is amazing I, I would have liked the bigger scoop uh, I guess uh, that covered the wheels at least so it would would have protected the wheels uh, for any debris or whatever maybe put some armor sleeves or mud guards on there or just some extra protection for those tires just in case if anything metallic got into the buzz saws it chipped off and you know gave you a puncture and then that's the the dragster um, out of action but I like the fact that there's this really really low scoop that just feeds creatures or space marines or whatever into the row of uh, buzz saws amazing i also like these rockets on the top so you've got this amazing weapon you've got these buzz saws and then you've got the rockets too and on top of that you've got this amazing uh, like teleportation type um jet engine thing on the back and it can actually jump from one place to another we'll, we'll talk about that a bit later it's got the four exhausts in this massive engine which you can't see unfortunately but you can see the oxygen intake uh, there for the engine but um yeah the uh orc itself looks a bit strange i would have liked him to see him with goggles on maybe but he has got some kind of racing car driver helmet but let's have a look at all these details close up you've also got this uh like uh squig that's um you know connected to the uh weapon you've got another grot there so two grots an orc and a squig on the, this uh this vehicle but uh yeah um there you go that's uh that's the model itself uh, there's no spare parts so we'll go straight into the size comparisons and the first size comparison i'd like to make is just with the mega truck uh, scrap jet which is right here um similar sizes the shock jump is a bit longer though um but the scrap jet is uh wider and uh you know a fair bit slower with these uh track wheels compared to the uh death killer war trike similar sort of size much more lower though um, and it is faster i think it is the fastest uh, buggy that they do and then compared to the other um sort of vehicles that you're used to looking looking at on the battlefield which is the truck so it's very very low compared to the truck but shares a few aesthetics and then finally the uh, gun wagon right here I'll just move that over there um sits much much lower than the uh, uh gun wagon uh, that's like a definitely a mobile battle, battle fortress uh, compared to it. Bikes work quite well size-wise uh, compared to this model. Uh, you can fit a few bikes around it. Speed, I'd like to know, like the differences in the speed, whether the shock jump is actually faster than the bikes. I think the bikes are 14 inch uh, range, so they're, they're pretty, pretty fast. Compared to some standard models, uh, so we've got the uh, war boss there, an orc boy and a grot, or Gretchen. So that's, that's where it sort of stacks up between an Orc war boss. Um, it's a fair, fairly medium sized model, I guess. Um, but uh, it will still have a lot of presence and people will be able to spot that, especially if you paint it bright yellow. And, uh, and they're probably gonna single it out because of this weapon right here. Let's compare it to the Stomper. 
right here as you can see obviously it could almost go under the stomper maybe <laughs> depends i'd like to see a bit a, a, a mega gargant or something that would be great wouldn't it um but yeah that's how it holds up it's it's a lot lot smaller than uh, one of these uh, stomper orc titans and finally just comparing it to some imperial mo models uh, so legacy space marine on the left uh, slime marble in the middle and then uh, primaris on the right um Again, it's sort of these orc vehicles do dwarf the uh, the normal space marines, legacy ones, but the Primaris um, fit in quite well, and the Imperial Guard or Ashmanitarum or Catachan or whatever um, are going to look quite small next to these big uh, orc vehicles. And there we go. So uh, what we'll do is we'll go straight into the rules uh, found in the 2018 Orc Codex, the uh, Eighth Edition Codex. Can you predict uh, which section of the book uh, the Shock Jump Dragster will be found in? Yeah, you guessed it right. Definitely fast attack again. Um, it's a power points cost of a six and a points cost of 108, making it the second most expensive uh, out of all the buggies after the Rooker Truck uh, Squig Buggy. So what do you get for these points? Well, it's a movement of 14 inches, a weapon skill of four plus, ballistic skill five plus, strength five, toughness six, eight wounds, attacks four, leadership six, and a save of four plus. The unit contains one shock jump dragster. It can include one additional shock jump dragster or two additional shock jump dragsters for a power rating of plus 12. Each model is equipped with a custom shock rifle, rocket launcher and saw blades. So like all of the other buggies, you can include three in one fast attack choice. I think that's brilliant. And now the weapon itself, the main reason why you'd get it is the custom shock rifle. It's only a range 24 inches, but when combined to its movement speed of 14, gives it an effective range of 38 inches. Pretty decent. It's an assault two weapon, strength eight, AP minus three, and damage D6. If you roll one or more unmodified hit rolls for one of one for this weapon, the bearer suffers one mortal wound after all of this weapon's attacks have been resolved. Each time you make a wound roll of six plus for this weapon, the target suffers one mortal wound in addition to any other damage. So that's great. You just want to really avoid getting those ones because then you're going to be uh, making mortal wounds on yourself. But it's nice that you can inflict mortal, one, mortal wounds too. Having three of these things firing six shots at strength eight AP minus three with a damage of D6 with a potential of mortal wounds can be quite horrific if they can hit. You know, the ballistic skill is only five plus at the end of the day. The rocket launchers work as usual a range 24 inch assault one strength eight ap minus two and a damage of three and then the saw blades is a melee weapon so strength plus one so that would be six ap minus one and a damage of one that's a bit lackluster i would have liked a ap of minus two at least abilities here we go mob rule daka 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 speed mob shock tunnel if you roll a four plus when advancing with this model remove it from the battlefield and set it up anywhere Set it up again anywhere on the battlefield more than nine inches away from any enemy units. After doing so, roll a d6 on a four plus, the model suffers one mortal wound. So there are pros and negatives to this. The effective range of 38 inches isn't too bad at all. There's not really an, a reason to advance this unit um, other than to get it in range of that. You're not gonna be advancing it to get it in range of those saw blades, but it is a nice feature if, if you wanna move it really far across the battlefield it can basically deep strike can't it um but there is that risk a 50 50 chance of it giving itself a mortal wound this model out of most of the orc models uh, has a such a high chance of causing itself damage moving on the grot gunner and targeting squig add two to hit rolls for attacks made with this model's custom shock rifle so there you go so that's where it surpasses a lot of the orc models in that um you can add two to the hit rolls. So say you're getting three, three pluses. So say you're getting threes when you need five pluses, that will still hit. So that further guarantees the custom shock rifle hitting its target. Explodes, if this model is reduced to zero wounds, roll a D6. On a six it explodes and each unit within three inches suffers D3 mortal wounds. That works just like all of the other buggies. Keywords, orc, vehicle, speed freaks, shock jump, dragsters. So there you go, that is my review of the Shock Jump Dragsters. In summary, it's the fastest buggy that they uh, create, and it's one of the fastest fast attack uh, units, up there with the War Bikers and the Death Copters. The Custom Shock Rifle is the main reason you'd get it, and it can jump about the battlefield if you're playing on those uh, massive boards. Uh, that's where it will excel to advance, to let rip with the 
uh, shock rifle and to get out of trouble itself. It doesn't have anything else that, that increases its survivability. At the end of the day, it has toughness six and a save of four plus, but it does have eight wounds. You just gotta be careful about uh, rolling those ones with the shock rifle and also taking that chance with the shock tunnel because if you get those things wrong, you could whittle its wounds down um, to six or five or something like that. Much like the Boom Dacker Snazwagon, I'd use it in conjunction with that to put pressure on uh, units from uh, the distance. I would use it specifically in conjunction with the custom booster blaster if you can't get two of these uh, dragsters and possibly even the uh, Boom Dacker Snazwagon. But uh, combined with the booster blaster, uh, they would be great to harass the enemy from a distance and uh, get out of trouble where needed to. What do you guys think of the Shock Jump Dragster? Please do put it in the comments below. It'd be great to hear your thoughts about it. Uh, thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching for Gork and Mork.